What does mutual attraction look like in real life? If you're attracted to someone and you're wondering if the feeling is mutual, we're here to give you more clarity. In today's video, you'll learn about signs of mutual attraction. Number one, direction. When you think about attraction, you might picture the obvious indicators, like lots of eye contact or smiling often. But did you know that the direction your crush is facing could be an indicator of mutual attraction as well? In an article published in UpJourney, Ellie Borden, psychotherapist and clinical director at Mind by Design, says that if your bodies are facing each other or if you're turning towards one another often, it's a sign that you're both into each other. The reason for this is explained in an article published in Psychology Today by Dr. Ronald Riggio. He pointed out that facing the same direction as someone shows that you're being inviting and it encourages the other person to connect with you. It's also a good indicator that they trust you. Try to see if you notice this sign in body language the next time you watch The Bachelor or 90 Day Fiance. Number two, mirroring. Mirroring, also known as mimicry, is strongly associated with attraction. According to a study published by Montoya and colleagues, when you're around your crush, try paying attention to their movements and compare them to yours. If you find that you tend to mimic each other's posture, expressions, and even ways of speaking, then your feelings for them just might be mutual. Montoya and colleagues highlight that mirroring or mimicry is an affiliative behavior, meaning that it's done to build a stronger relationship with someone. In other words, your crush mimics you in order to get you to like them and to form a closer bond. However, mimicry isn't always intentional. It can be subconscious changes in the body language that helps people build trust and form closer relationships. So keep a lookout for this cue in your crush. They may not even be aware they're doing it. Number three, excuses, excuses. Imagine that you're a college student hanging out on campus with your crush and some friends. You tell everyone that you have to go to class and your crush says, hey, my class is that way too. Why don't we just walk together? Hmm, is that just a friendly gesture or could they be making an excuse to hang out with you because the feeling is mutual? While one or two situations like this aren't enough to tell, if it becomes a pattern and you find your crush constantly making excuses to talk to you or spend time with you and you do the same, then your attraction for them could be mutual. According to a 2018 study published in the Psychological Bulletin, direct body language, like being physically close to one another, hanging out more, or talking to each other more often than you do with others, is more strongly related to attraction than indirect behaviors like mimicry. Turns out, it just might be easier than you think to tell if you have a mutual connection with someone. Number four, pheromones. Have you ever wondered what causes people to be attracted to each other right away and experience love at first sight? According to BetterHelp, this instant chemistry usually happens because of pheromones. Pheromones are chemicals that we detect through our sense of smell. They influence both sexual behavior and arousal, which play a big role in attraction. Depending on your genetic makeup, your pheromones can make you more attracted to certain people. In the classic t-shirt study conducted by Wedkind and colleagues in 1995, researchers had men wear the same t-shirt for two nights in a row with no deodorant or other artificial scents. Then they asked women to rate how each t-shirt smelled and found that women preferred the scent of t-shirts worn by men whose MHC gene differed from theirs. According to BBS, the MHC gene is also known as the immune system gene. If two people who have very different immune systems start a family together, their kids would have a genetic advantage because they would be able to fight off more types of diseases effectively. The takeaway, from a scientific perspective, pheromones can help tell you whether your crush is a good match for you or not. If someone compliments you on how you smell and you like their scent too, this is a good sign that you're mutually attracted to each other, or at least on a biological level. We hope this video helped you understand mutual attraction and how to spot it in your own relationships and others. Did we miss any signs that you've noticed when you've had a strong mutual connection with someone? Share your experience in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video useful, subscribe to learn more about the psychology of relationships and attraction. See you in the next one, Psych2Goers.